Hey, welcome back everyone. This is a special edition of Revelations brought to you by from the Inspired Creations HOM. I, of course, am the most influential speaker from the House of M. Joining with me is my counterpart, Diggs. It's been a while, I know, but say hi, Diggs. Hi. Um, we've been busy with all kinds of stuff. He's been building video, ga video games. Video, yeah. video yeah. games are pretty cool. Uh, along with video games, um, we got a lot of cool stuff. You saw some of our new content on Mario Odyssey, uh, Diggs Arcade. So we got to bring some more of that to you. But we wanted to interject with a special uh, Revelations episode. Um, we just discovered—I shouldn't say we just—Diggs discovered a card game called um, Super. What is it called? Dragon Ball. The Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Um, and we just played around trying to get used to this and. Um, it's actually pretty fun. A little complicated for us. We've never really played this kind of game before, either of us, really. Um, so we played a game and pretty fun. Mm -hmm. uh, again, a little complicated. So we'll have maybe we'll have some uh, videos on how to play the game once we get it all squared away too. But we bought some booster packs to support the gameplay, and we're just going to reveal what we got um, in those packs today. Um, that's pretty much what this episode will be. So. I'm trying to bring up, get out the word of the Dragon Ball Super card game um, and see if any of you guys play that out there. And maybe with our videos, you'll uh, want to play it as well. Again, uh, very fun. It's a two-player game, just a two-player game, so to be aware of that. Um, and it's it's pretty new, newer, yeah, maybe. maybe. I don't know. It could have come out maybe six months ago for all I know. But um, we're just getting into it now, and um, without further ado, we'll look at some of the cards we just got. And we'll look at that right now. Okay, so um, we bought three three card uh, booster packs, I guess is what they're called. Um, I just kept it pretty basic. I bought one with each of the different artwork. This is Golden Frieza. Uh, this one displays Champa, and this one's got Broly, it's legendary Broly. So, Diggs, if we want to, should we open first? Um, we should open Champa. Champa, it is. All right, so Diggs has already told me there is an easier way to do that. There's a little slit right here. Oh, cool! All right, so already there's a little slit. See that little triangle thing? Uh, open it like that. <laughs> Very easy. Um, no, it, it, that was fine. Uh, Diggs also said there's no special way to open the pack of cards, like your Pokemon cards. Uh, what? They're kind of in order, like so the leader gonna, card is last. Okay, cool. So we, you can literally just uh, open them up I'll and have um, and uh, take a look at them. So first we got uh, King Vegeta's Surprise Attack. It's an extra card. Um, again, this is my first time opening these cards. I don't really know, um, not rarity or anything like that. I don't know how cool these cards are. Until I actually play them, and then once I do play them, how 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 uh that one's uncommon. How we're able to play too. So if Diggs Diggs has bought how many boosters? You bought a few of them already. I've bought over five. So and I only have three here. So if he knows more about the cards, as we see, go ahead and tell us any additional uh, details about um, it. But, um, down here on the bottom corner here, it says U C, which yes. is uncommon, oh, and yeah, it, see that right it here. says that on every card. Not you see, it says it. But that's the like rarity rare. right there? Mm -hmm. So this is not a common card? It is not. Okay, so very good. We got already a good one. King Vegeta's surprise Although attack. Although I have it. And next we have Shisami, the loyal warrior. This one is an uncommon, I guess, right? It says you see? Yes. Um, so with these cards, oh, I want to show the, the uh, leader card. That's, that's cool. I kind of wanted to open it to see what kind of leader card. Wait, the I leader got. card isn't the last one. Or, okay. It's around the last one. Well, whatever. Sorry. I saw a cool card at the end. I want to make sure I don't <laughs> skip that. So anyway, um, so when you're in gameplay, you got you can play these cards, and these numbers up here indicate how many car, how many energy cards you need, um, and then these little circles determine what um, color energy you also need to uh, do the attack. In this case, this is a battle card, dedicated or designated by the word battle there. Um, and then some special um, details here, and there's his power, and right there are his, uh, I guess, I don't know, his attributes, the character, special trait, and era. That and it's from. That it's from, yeah. So in this case, his character is Shisami, special trait, um, and these come into gameplay too, based on these mm -hmm. things here. Uh, special trait, he's Frieza's army, 
And he's from the era of Resurrection F, which is a great movie. All right. So next we got Hit. Oh, very cool. That's one that I don't um, know. Hit is from uh, the Champa Saga. And this is one of my favorite battles when he faces off Vegeta and then faces off against Goku. Um, Kaioken times ten, buddy. <laughs> I love that scene. Um, but all right, so there's Kit. Kit. There's Hit. Um, got Zarbon, the Emperor's attendant, and he's from the Frieza's army, from the Frieza saga. Oh, there we go, Magetta. I don't Magetta. know if Magetta. Of Universe 6, same as uh, Hit. He's also from the Champ Champa Saga. Again, I don't really know too much more about the cards as I'm uh, revealing them to you, but uh, uh, here we have Frieza, Cold Bloodlust. This is an extra card. Um, it's a counterplay card, so if your leader card is... Um, what? If your leader card is Frieza's army... Which is the character trait. The battle card played has its skill negated for the duration of the turn. So this is a common card. I forgot that's what I was supposed to read, if these were common or not. Uh, Boma, uh, God Tempter. She's a common card here. Ginyu Force Jace. Jace. Jace, he's also a common here from the Frieza Saga. Broly's Ring. Uh, this is a common card, and it's an extra as well. Human Shield Krillin. That's just funny. Uh, this is a common card as well, and this one is from the Frieza Saga. Down to my last couple cards here. Assassination Plot. This is a common card, and it's an extra. And the last card is Raging Kaba. This is a rare card. Sometimes there's a leader. And uh, this is from the Champa Saga as well. So there we go. There's the first... Uh, set of cards there. All out of all those cards that came in that pack, I have all of them except for that hit. All right. Well, Diggs, Diggs has already gotten like he has. He has quite a few cards. Yeah. Diggs, what uh, pack am I opening next? Broly. Broly. Golden Frieza for last. All right. There's your easy way to open the cards here. Better tear that off. And uh, next. That result of training card is pretty good. I All right. Uh, there you go. He likes this card. This is an uncommon card. Um, this is an extra as well. Because what that one does, sorry, um, is no matter if you're below four, which you need for your leader card, if it's if you have below four or less health usually for leader cards, they change into their awakened form. But with using this card, if you aren't already below four, you can immediately awaken your very cool. Leader. I didn't know people who are just watching this for the first time or have not played it may not know what all that is, but we'll we'll get to that at some point. But um, but yeah, you'll know more of that once you play the game. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Well, and we'll tell you more as we find out too. So here is a leader card, eh? Yeah, yes. this is a leader card. That's the awakened. This form. is the uh, yeah the awakened form. So they always show the awakened form first. This is an uncommon card, so I guess it's not totally rare, but it's uncommon. I don't have it. Um, but it's a uh, Beerus. So this is his awakened side. So what Diggs was re referring to before. So this is a leader card, and you see that by saying leader back. Um, it'll say leader front. I'm assuming on the other side. Mm -hmm. So this is where it starts at, and all leader cards start at ten thousand when they awaken. They go to 15,000? Or 20,000. Uh, I didn't know that. I did not know that. Sometimes. Um, so this is Beerus. Again, an uncommon card, but here's a leader card. So Lord Beerus, pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, battle card from the Champa Saga. This is Champa. Yeah. Not bad. I'm glad my fingers are clean. Really kind of good detail there. All right. <laughs> and it got a first dupe. That's OK. Um, this is a common uh, battle card here, Magetta again of Universe Six. Um, in when you create your deck, um, you can have up to four of the same cards in your deck. So it's okay if you get doubles, because mm -hmm. um, you can use you them. You can use them, yeah. Like it's a very good card, like that Mecha Frieza. So another <laughs> trait too that you want to look for your cards is we were talking about energy. So the big number is how many energy cards you need dropped. Um, and the um, sorry if I'm using the wrong terms. But the other energy circles here are also important. So they're color-coded. The ones I'm used to, if you buy the starter deck, um, those are blue energy cards. 
Um, actually, they're all blue energy. This, these uh, booster packs will give you a variety. So this is red, and that one's yellow. The next card coming up. And another dupe, uh, Cold Bloodlust, Frieza. And like he was saying, the different colors of the cards, it's good to have a deck of only that color because then for energy cards it works out nice. Very, uh, yeah, very good point. Very good point, very good point. Um, because you're going to you activate in battle cards um, with those energy colors. Mm -hmm. uh, another duplicate from the last pack, Bulma. She's a common again. Paragus, Controller of Monsters. This is a common mm -hmm. card, a battle card. No. Diggs does not have that one. Broly's Ring. Oh, I think we had this in the same deck, right? Oh, yeah. Or is no. this in the last that was one? That was the last one. So another duplicate. Not a biggie. That's okay. Um, so on to the next card. Human Shield. I, I mean, this is a good... This is this is actually a good card unless, unless you get a ton of them. Like, yeah. But but, uh, but this is important because this is a blocker card. <laughs> Again, <laughs> with the words Human Shield. So when you're attacking, um, if you have this card, you can play this one, and it'll block the attack, and um, it'll deflect the attack to another card. This card. It'll deflect it to this card, right? Yes. You may switch the card to rest mode and change the target of the attacker. Yeah. So this card, basically, instead of hitting your leader or whatever target the, your opponent is playing against, it you use this card, and then that attack will go onto this card and uh, negate the attack. So it's a good card. I don't have too many. That's the second one I've gotten. So, and there's another duplicate assassination plot, common, and the second to last card here, trunks. Um, I have this one. Yeah, this is this mm -hmm. this card comes with the starter deck. So this is a common one as well. And the last card is a battle card, uh, destructive terror champa. Um, this one. is a super rare. You have this one? Yeah, I do. Oh wow. So on the bottom, I guess it's super rare. Bottom mm -hmm. says SR. So super rare card here. I love the gold foil. I haven't even mentioned the artwork oh. on these cards. It's all anime yeah. There's, um, um, stuff, but the gold foil is just its very, very cool. I yeah. have a Super Saiyan blue um, Vegito, and his is awesome looking. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So very, very cool looking card here. Dropped six cards to play this one. Wow. I know. Uh, 25,000, like though. And then uh, you can boost them for another ten thousand um, as well. But very cool looking card, um, and yeah, <laughs> that's, that's it. All right. Yeah. So on to the last deck here for the reveal, and we got the golden Frieza here. Um, I'm liking this video so far. I know I'm recording this live, but it's cool how we. Yeah. We're able, this is what I wanted to do a while ago. We're getting better, guys. This is 2018, and um, we're still figuring things out. But you know. We have time to figure things out since we have, you know, like only one or two views every four months. So we have time. Uh, give us some views and then share our share our, share our videos. I don't care if you're eight years old or forty eight. Um, if you like what we're seeing or if you want us to do more, when we see comments or questions, um, it that's that's motivation for us to keep these videos going, right? Would you agree? Yeah. So, I mean, give us comments or share the video, anything. Just, you know, the more we see, the more we'll be, the more apt we'll be to uh, put some more content down. We got a lot of videos out, right? We have we have a few, but um, check us out. Right? We'll, we'll only get better. All right, last deck here. Oh, there's a card there. See, I want to see that for last. <laughs> um, I'm going to. I'm going to take this off camera. And just so you have something to look at, I'll show you the Raging Kappa card and the super rare Chop. All right, so that was ba -da -ba -da. the next card. I'm going to have that as the ba -da -ba -da. last card, and I'm going to flip it on the other side ba -da -ba -da. so you can see the ba -da -ba -da. first side first. Ba -da -ba -da. Okay, that happened okay. off camera. All right, put these cards back. All right, so we got Shisami. I don't even know if this is a, I think this is a dupe. I think we got yeah, this card it already. So it's another. It's an uncommon card. Um, Assailant Vegeta. This card you also is an un, is uncommon. It's from the Resurrection F Saga, mm -hmm. and you get this in your booster pack. Yes. I'm sorry, you get this in the starter deck. Yes. Uh, another duplicate, uh, common cold bloodlust Frieza. It's an extra. Manipulating God Champa. It's a battle card. This is not a duplicate. This is the first time we got this yeah. card in this uh, reveal here, but it is a common, and this is from the Champa Saga. Oh, sorry if I said that twice. Uh, new card, common, the battle card, and it's from the Broly Saga. Uh, new card. That's the only one of all the Guinea Force members that I don't have. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, well, there you go. Well, you can trade for it. 
Um, <laughs> so this is uh, Ginyu Force Guldo. Is it Guldo? Guldo. 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 Sure. Uh, this is this guy. He's a battle card. It's a common card as well, and he's from the Frieza saga. <laughs> Not for me. Not coming for me. Um, new card, I think. I don't think we got yeah, this one yet. Uh, Rampaging Super Saiyan Broly. Uh, it, it is a common card. It uses green energy, and it's a battle card. Okay. Uh, new card as well from Universe 6, but Batamo. Uh, this is also a common card, though, from the Champa Saga. Mm-hmm. Getting to near the end here. Ah, duplicate, darn it. Um, another common here, Broly's Ring. Getting near the end. New card, Bannon. I don't even have him. Uh, it's a common card. It's a battle card, and he's from the Frieza saga. Frieza army. Frieza army. Yeah, twenty thousand. Look at that. That's not That's bad. That's wow, especially for a Frieza soldier. Guy. Three card drop though. Yeah. Uh, five thousand boost. That's so for good. Free. That's still. That's wow. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Right. So okay. I'll, that's another question for another day. All right. So here is a rare card. Um, be, this is new. Um, Diggs does sounds like he doesn't have it, but it's a Bewitching Gods Vados. Vados. Vados, and this is the equivalent, or the counterpart to Whis, if you watch Dragon Ball Super. She is the, I don't, I don't know, I was going to say Guardian, but she's the company, she's the partner to uh, Champa, which is Beerus's uh, brother. It's a battle card from the Champa saga, and it is a rare card. 20,000, not bad. Cool looking card. It's a foil card. Okay. And the And leader. the very last card. The leader card is... Oh, you know that head. Yeah. I think you it's do. Frieza. I was going to say Frieza too, but it's not. No, it's not. It is hit. I am. And it's a... Le you have this one? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, so, no, that's <laughs> right. A leader. Leader card hit. Uh, he's an uncommon. Man, I thought it was going to be a super rare or something. He's only got one super rare out of these things. Uh, so there's no foil this way. I'm not. I don't know why I'm doing this because there's no foil to it. <laughs> but it's a un uncommon card. It's hit nonetheless. It's a leader card. Flip him over to his awakened side. Um, assassin hit leader back awakened side. Pretty cool looking card there. Card art's pretty neat. Yeah. So um, there we go. Uh, there are your cards for playing Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Um, it's very cool looking. I mean, the, the the gameplay is... I don't know how... We've only played one game since doing this video, so I'm not sure how quickly games usually last. I'm sure they can last a while, but um, they go... I, I guess, mean, why else would there be 12 energy cards? Yeah, yeah, so it can <laughs> go a while, but um, it, hopefully when you're sort of starting, it goes pretty quick, but I think uh, this is a game that anyone can play uh, as long as you understand it, and we'll try to understand it more <laughs> as we get into it too, so... Um, that's it. You can uh, check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. Um, hit the subscribe button. Share us. Give us a comment. Let us know what you think of this. And um, that's it. We will see you again. Diggs, you want to say anything else? Um, no. All right. Then until next time, we'll see you later. And uh, happy YouTubing. <laughs>